Hello, today I will show you how to check your stator voltage output on your scooter and in this video I will show you how! how. Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today I will show you the stator right here. But what I really want to show you this time is the stator mm -hmm. voltage output of your stator. Because your stator right here is producing current on your scooter. But sometimes if you have problem with the front light with the backlight, uh, with something else uh, that is uh, not really functioning the right way, sometimes it could be the stator. The stator right here has a part that is a magneto on the outside that is turning and it's, uh, inside has this part right here with all the winding or the wiring. Now this one there is some heads right here, the pole heads right here. And this one sometimes they can dirty, they can be dirty or they can be rusty, especially if you leave the scooter on the outside. Now, if you leave the scooter on the outside, after a while, if they become rusty, they are not going to produce a perfect or clean energy for your scooter. So you might have some problem. Maybe your low beam on your scooter, the headlights, they're not working properly because this part is dirty, because this part might be even oily. Because if you have a leak on your motor, this part right here can be oily and this part right here can be slightly oily. So at that point, it's not going to produce a perfect, perfect electricity for your scooter. So at this point, we're going to check how is the electricity output on my scooter so you can, you know, refer that to your scooter and see how it's going to work. Right now, I will show you how to do it right now with a little voltmeter on your scooter. Okay, this one is the inside of your scooter right here. Right here, you're going to see the carburetor right here in the center. Right here on the right side, you're going to see on the lower side a fan. Behind that fan, there is the stator and the flywheel. Okay, those are the parts that produce electricity for your scooter. It's down here. And you can see on the right side of your scooter too, that's where you're going to see the starter. Now, the real thing that you need is the wiring, they're right here, and they're coming from down there, right here. Those are the wiring of your starter, okay? Now, right here, you have uh, one yellow wire, one green wire, and one white wire, right here, on this position right here. Plus, you have uh, one wire that is uh, white and red that brings electricity to your CDI and there is another wire that's back here that brings uh, the signal from the pickup at the stator to let your spark plug know when to fire okay that's the timing when to fire but what we're gonna check right now is uh, your stator if it's producing enough energy to run your scooter so we're going to check AC voltage on your stator. It's a really easy thing to do. You just unplug this part right here. This little clip. You're just going to press and release this part right here. So it will come out. Now be careful. Don't push. Don't pull the wire. Because if you're pulling the wire, you're going to have a problem. Okay. So right here, you're going to have the connection of your stator. Okay, now sometimes use your eyes because sometimes these connections right here they could be oxidated and sometimes that's why you're not getting a clean flow of electricity to your scooter. So that's very important to have a clean flow of electricity. Now right here you're going to need a voltmeter to check the voltage. Right here. Now, always prepare this one when the scooter is on a center stand and when the scooter is off, okay? Because if the scooter is on, you might have a problem because you might get electric shooter right here. You will have some electricity. That is AC voltage, so you will get a little more a sharper electric shock, okay? So, right here, we're going to place behind the green one we're going to place one probe okay so it's going to stay there now at this point what we're going to check we're going to check the white wire and then the yellow wire those are the ones that are producing the electricity okay so you're going to place it right here 
on the white wire okay so we're going to test the white wire at this point now right here we have the voltmeter and we're going to place the voltmeter at AC voltage 200 okay so you're going to get a great reading okay right here we are going to turn on the scooter if you look at the voltmeter you're getting a 33.734 depends how high is your idle at the moment okay now the more that you raise your idle the more power you're going to get on the voltage is what you get at 3000 rpm you're getting 40 voltage ACV okay so this is a good pretty good starter it's producing really good electricity at the moment now we're going to test the other wire that would be the yellow wire okay that's the one that is running your lights okay but before you do that turn off your scooter and we're going to change the wire okay at this point we're going to test the other wire now you can leave the black probe on the green one because the green one is always the ground okay now right here we're going to switch to the right here to the other wire that would be the yellow wire okay so at this point we can turn on the scooter so do one wire at the time and you turn on or off your scooter okay that's what we are getting right now at idle we are getting a 35 Okay, 35, 36 on the yellow wire. This wire is the one that is running your headlights and a lot of things in your scooter, okay? Now, if we raise the scooter, your starter alternator will produce more current. The scooter is running at 4,000 RPM on the yellow wire right now, okay? So that's what you're getting. One second. Right here, the scooter is running at 4,000 RPM and we're getting a reading of 35, 34, you know? That's the reading that you are getting on the yellow wire. Make sure you turn up your scooter and you remove all the wiring that you just test, okay? So you test the yellow wire and you're testing the other wire that is the white wire, okay? So after you're done testing, make sure you place the connection back and squeeze it. Because if you do not squeeze it, you're not going to get the right contact with the connections right here. So you want to make sure you do the right thing. Right here and squeeze it. Squeeze it. Now right after you've done this, that you connect this one, try to turn on your scooter, okay? Because you want to make sure you did the right thing. So turn on the key and turn on your scooter. Okay? So it looks like the scooter is working and we are doing fine. So, we just check the voltage on the starter to make sure it's working fine. Sometimes the starter can be dirty, sometimes the starter 
can be oily so you might have a problem sometime with the starter that is not producing enough electricity to your scooter so okay in this video I'll just show you how to check the voltage of your starter okay when the scooter is on that's really important because that will let you know what's going on with your starter if your starter alternator is producing enough energy enough power to run your head like to run all the things that you have in your scooter and to make sure it's gonna recharge the battery of your scooter this is the starter you know if you have a problem with the starter you have to remove it you're going to need an extractor okay that is gonna go inside here and going to extract the front part of the starter that would be the flywheel right here because there is magnet and without without an extractor you cannot remove this part right here on the top and see what's going on behind that right here now checking uh, the voltage of your scooter and what the starter is producing is really important at least you have an idea if something is not going right with your scooter okay because sometimes you're lobbying uh, of your scooter the headlights they're not working perfectly sometimes that's that that's the problem right here that's why your low beam are not working the way they should and uh, let me tell you headlights are very important especially in nighttime because you need everybody to see that you're there you need to see the street too so you want enough lights now sometimes this back part right here if you have a leak on your scooter can get dirty with oil so if you get the good the dirty with oil, it's not going to produce a lot of energy for your scooter, a lot of electricity. But sometimes you can also have rust on the top poles right here of this part of the starter. So you have to clean that. Now, this one will give you a voltmeter, will give you an idea if there is something wrong with your scooter. At this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel at any time. Have a great day. Thank you.